little bit. So, you know, just set that for, we'll put that there. A time, a timeline zero, just click on the stopwatch and then just, just change the fluctuation to like, you know, just a revolution. And this way over time, it kind of ripples. You'll notice a real slight change in the clouds and it'll ripple your uh, thing. So basically we just uh, animated the evolution of the turbulent displays just to ripple the clouds a little bit. Okay, so now we got that. Now that's all set. So basically all we got to do is make a pre-comp of that. We'll call that a ring. All right. Now we can keep the we can just keep the ring open in its own comp there for now. We go back to our footage comp. Let's grab the ring comp from the project and put it above there. Okay, now we have to turn this to a 3D layer so we can rotate it where we need it. So click on the rotate and just move it. We got to just move this into position. Make sure you use the Z. You do it on Z and kind of bring it because we, we want it to go back smaller. We don't want to just pop it into place. We actually want to move it a little bit in, on its Z axis too to get it back there. And I'm going to bring it over to the clouds because it just looks cooler if you're doing it over clouds because this way you can do that effect that I did to where we actually get rid of the clouds. The, when the ring expands, that the, in the end, the clouds are gone. So we're going to bring it over. And just rotate it, you know, rotate it, move it around to where, you know, you just need it to where you want it. All right, let's see how that looks. Might be a little bit too big in the end. So let's push it back on its Z and just pull it down. Pull it, push it back a little bit more. Pull it down. Scooch it over like that. All right, so that's good. Perfect. Okay, because if we did it over the trees, we'd have to mask off the tree and everything. So we'll just leave it above the tree and just fading off into the clouds also. So we got that. That's set just right, just the way we need it. Okay, now you can change that layer to an add layer so we can actually adjust it to kind of blend in with our sky the right way. So f while you're on the ring, add a color correction to it. Go hue and saturation, click colorize. Now we can go ahead and tweak the colors, turn down the brightness a little bit to make it more like the clouds, change the hue a little bit to kind of make it really close to the sky, the cl uh, cloud color. They sort of have a red, slight red tinge to it. So just play with that until you get the, the right look to it, you know, however you want to do it. Like that. It's good. And you can actually see, if you look close enough, you can actually see the clouds moving a little bit. Because uh, we added that turbulence, animated the turbulent displace a little bit, so it actually changes the texture over time. Okay, so that looks good. Uh, that's one thing. Um, now we got to check the speed. Now if we want to adjust the speed over time, if we want to make this happen quicker, so we'll do a quick, quick preview of it. Let me pause it while it does that. Alright, so there's our expanding ring, which looks pretty cool. Okay, now if we want to make this go quicker, all we got to do is go back to, or not go back to the ring, we just do it right here. We can click on it, right click on it, go to time, time stretch, and just change it over time. Right now it's 60 frames long, so let's make it, f we'll say 15 frames long, and this way it'll happen quicker. A nice quick shock wave. You can even make it longer, of course. And now we have a nice quick shock wave happening. So let me go ahead and preview that one. This should go pretty quick because it's really quick. And there we go. So and that basically takes care of that part. Now, so now we have the ring the way we need it. 
Um, if you want to add a turbulent di or a displacement to it, to kind of like make the sky kind of ripple around it, basically all you got you have to pre-comp this, make a pre-comp of this, which would mean you'd be making a pre-comp. But here, let's go ahead and pre-comp this first. We may be able to do this without it. Leave attributes alone. We'll leave it all attributes in comp one. Let's see if this helps. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, good. It left it there. It made the pre-comp of it, and it left it uh, because we want. We don't want to pre-comp the hue and saturation. We just want to pre-comp uh, the the actual ring itself. So we get the we keep the hue and saturation where it is. Okay, but this may not work right with the displacement now because it it's still a 3D layer. So let's see what happens. We click on our video footage right click and add a distort displacement map click on the ring and luminance luminance and okay see that's why it's it's doing that so we have to we have to go ahead and pre-comp it with the effect in there so but what I'll do is let's just undo that really quick never tried it that way before unply effect uh, pre-comp Okay, so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and copy the hue and saturation and just dis disable it for now on under there. Okay, click on the ring. Now we're going to pre-comp it, move all tributes. Okay, now that sets it, that pre-comps it in the 3D layers inside the pre-comp. We don't have to turn the 3D layer on anymore. It's, it's turned on in the other comp. Okay, now we can go ahead and paste that hue and saturation in this one. And we have to turn, make that layer an add layer again. Okay, so now it's an add layer. We brought back the hue and saturation because this is going to be our final comp. So we want to be able to adjust our hue and saturation in there if we want, if we need to. Okay, it looks good. Now, all we need to do is go back to the background. Let's add a displacement map. Now this will work. We click the ring comp. Click luminance, luminance, and then adjust. And as you can see. It's affecting. It's kind of affecting our uh, the ring around there. So we just got to change the luminance just to where it looks like it's actually puffing out a little bit. Not too much, because then it'll tear the it'll tear it. So we don't want to do that. So we just want to make it look like it's actually affecting the sky. So just play with it around. There we go. Okay, that looks pretty good. See, it just looks like it's bubbling out the sky a little bit or the clouds we just need a little bit okay that looks that looks fine okay what you can also try to do is go back to the pre-comp and go ahead and maybe try to uh, put the hue and saturation on because sometimes effect change in the color is going to make change the way the displacement works so let's go ahead and look at that and see if it changes it and we got to turn it off here too. Eh, it doesn't look too much different. Okay, so I just go ahead and keep it off on this one. And the end, we'll put it there. Okay, because usually black and white's the best way to go when it comes to displacement because it takes the black and white and everything that's white's going to be like out and then everything's black's going to be in. So um, just leave it. It makes it more simple this way. Okay, so we did that. Hue and saturations on there. We got the displacement going. Uh, basically, that's all set now. Now, we want to go ahead. We want to take this. We need to create another ring here. Uh, can't do it on the 3D level. Maybe able to do that on the 3D level. Let's try that. Turn it as to 3D. I don't know if this is gonna work. No, that won't. won't that's not gonna do it. Okay, undo a new ellipse. So we can't do that that way. So we're ju we're just gonna have to draw one out and do it the hard way. So don't make it a 3D layer. Then go ahead and draw a mask out. Make it the size of the biggest size that your thing is. So just go ahead and draw. Oh, wrong one. Sorry. We have to do this on the footage. Okay, so there, there.